Hey everyone, it's Stephen Wagner here. I'm sitting here with Daniel Kier. And uh, Daniel, this is your first VMware Explorer, right? It is. It yeah. is my very first one. First and large tech conference, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. and so, so what are your thoughts about it? Well, it's also my first time in Vegas, so it's it's a lot to absorb. There's a lot of things going on. I have like sensory overload, but like it's fine. It's it's really cool though. Like within what I'm calling day zero. So yesterday we went to what was the place Tao? Yep. So we went to Tao and then some honcho guy had honcho person from DCF was there and like I was able to ask a bunch of questions before the event even began. Like that's crazy. Yep. And today is just day one. And like my day started with doing hands-on lab. There was so much information that got dumped onto me and just everything has been extremely informative. And there's just, there's so much to take in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you know, it's, it's, it's interesting this year because of everything that's happened with uh, the Broadcom acquisition with VMware. So uh, the attendance numbers are a little bit different. The topics are a little bit different, but the, the big thing right now this year is AI. And that's something I'm super excited about because I do a lot of stuff in my own home lab and for customers, we're having conversations now where we're talking about RAG, um, we're talking about private AI. That's, that's the big thing because you know, it's one thing to, to toss a whole bunch of corporate data into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT train their models on that. Um, but, the, but the big rage is to keep all that private on your own servers, in your own data center. And so there's a lot of value behind this and a lot of the major players and the vendors are, are trying to, uh, to, to captivate or, uh, or to capture the, the market share on this. Um, like for example, uh, I sat in on a session earlier today, which was uh, the VMware Private AI Foundation. Uh, they were talking about the uh, NVIDIA NGC catalog uh, the NIMS, the uh, inference microservices that are available now. Um, NVIDIA also has their own product, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, which uh, you actually have to purchase in combination just so that you have the proper licensing for the GPUs. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's also a, a really different conference this year because, for example, Omnissa just split off and they went completely separate ways, so they have no presence at the conference this year, which is pretty interesting. Um, Don't they have an upcoming conference presence in like October? Yeah, so uh, I, I sit on the board of directors for World of EUC, and EUC World is the uh, conference that we're having October 22nd and 23rd in Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, Omnissa is one of our founding partners of World of EUC, and they're also our premier sponsor for the EUC World event. So. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but that might be one of their first big appearances uh, as a sponsor for uh, uh, for a conference that has that, that kind of material and content. That's pretty fancy. Yeah. So, but uh, but overall, it's it's really nice. Like one of the big things that I like to point out with all these conferences is that it's uh, it's fantastic for networking. It's fantastic for community work. We've got the uh, the VMware Communities booth behind us. Uh, Corey Romero has been manning that with uh, the uh, the V experts. Yeah. We've got Community Theater uh, just over to the left of that where Johan van Amersfoort just did a, an awesome presentation talking about uh, some of the work that he's done in his home lab with AI. Um, I think that's on VMware TV, so I think you can check it out on there. I haven't seen the channel yet, but I think you can subscribe and his session should be on there. Tony was saying if you just Google or YouTube search VMware TV, you should be able to find the live stream of it. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting stuff, but I don't know, like, is there, is there anything that you want to mention about your experience today? Anything that sticks out or anything positive being a first timer at uh, VMware Explorer? Everyone's really nice. Yeah. And the event is huge. Like there's five floors or whatever. Like yeah. there's there's a lot. Yeah. There's no, there's no like, I don't know what to do. There's there's so much to do. Yeah. I, like in today's day one of four, three? Yeah, day one today. And yeah. we were even busy on the day prior. <laughs> so we, uh, we got out and caused some shenanigans. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. But kept it technical so exactly. it was a good experience so but uh yeah so i'm gonna wrap it up about there and uh we've got uh, the welcome reception coming up so it's gonna be pretty low-key for the rest of the night just some adult beverages yep and uh i guess we'll check in day two perhaps or do a couple videos on something else we'll see how it flows yeah perfect thanks for watching guys see ya